I'll tell you what, if you want to see something that's just, just disheartening, just go to YouTube and go through there and just, just a search engine of uh, pretty much Grand Isle, Hurricane Ida yeah. uh, drone, and it's 30 minutes of what used to be Grand Isle. It's crazy. just absolutely crazy. Mm -hmm. So anyway, yeah. around here as we head toward the holiday weekend, we'll just be calm, but we'll be very warm. Yeah, that's true. Hot temperatures are going to move in. The cooler air is off to the northeast behind what Ida brought into this region. Cool and then, Yeah, it would be nice to get some of that. We're just going to be on the southwest side, so just a glancing blow for us, but that's typically what we <laughs> expect for us here at this time of the year. But of course, if it keeps us away from from 110, 115 air temperatures. Yeah, I think we'll be okay with that. I want to first show you a live picture. This is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Look at the water. This is the interstate, folks. This is the interstate that is covered here with all of this water, and they have just been dealing with so much heavy rainfall. I want to give you how much rain has fallen across this area. It has been a lot in the last, say, 24 hours, but these rainfall totals go back since Monday, but it's really accounting for what took place in the last. 30 to 36 hours. Very heavy rain in portions of Philadelphia. There's uh, I 76, so this is on the northwest side of Philly. You get rainfall totals here close to almost 10 inches, and then stretching up to near Long Island, back toward New York, uh, seven, eight inch rainfall totals. And this even extends all the way up into Massachusetts, where they dealt with some heavier rain, about five inches near the Boston area. That was enough, too, to cause some flash flooding concerns. But you're going to notice here on the storm report map, it was all heavy rain primarily that was the big concern. A couple of tornado reports sprinkled in, including a confirmed EF2 tornado. At the very least, touching down just southeast of Philadelphia. Areas also going all the way up into the New England region, also dealing with that flooding and some severe weather yesterday as well, back through portions of Maryland and near the D.C. vicinity. There's the cold front, and Ida now, the remains of it, is moving through portions of the far northeast section of North America. This cold front is, is going to bring in some cooler weather for them. They are going to get another disturbance with a secondary front that may bring a few showers. And notice this front, yeah, it is not pushing through our area. We are not going to see any significant change. To our forecast, but a slight drop in the humidity will be welcomed. A look outside from Longview, uh, partly cloudy sky. You had some hit and miss showers nearby, but the precipitation in Longview did not amount to much. It did pick up a bit more to the west. You did get clouds though, and that dropped the temperature down to 87 with a southeast breeze. Still humid. Areas to the west are in the 90s right now, and the heat index still above 100 in a couple of locations. Quick check of the radar. The precipitation. Precipitation that's out there is very sporadic at this moment. And again, most of it is approaching near Highway 69. Give you a look at our central northern areas. We do have a few showers that have developed just west of Overton. Gilmer, rain just west of you also. This will continue to drift west and slightly to the northwest. Wouldn't surprise me if portions of Camp County, including Pittsburgh, would see a brief shower or two. Deep East Texas, some rain has formed. Some heavier showers here along uh, Angelina County. Near and west and southwest of Lufkin, Nacogdoches, you've got some rain as well. Also on the west side, one, two just west of Wells in Cherokee County. This is going to be isolated activity. It may take until 8 or 9 o'clock for all of it to begin to clear on out, and then we'll look for those skies to clear as well. Overnight, things should remain fairly quiet for us, and then for tomorrow, we're only going to have an isolated rain chance. Let's break that down with your forecast leading into Labor Day weekend. 98 for your Friday on Saturday, also at 98, but some of us will be near 100, and then clouds should begin to return more late Sunday into Monday. By Labor Day itself, that's when we'll feature our next chance of rain in the forecast. So temperatures hot, maybe a slight drop in the humidity, but don't expect a whole lot. We'll continue with mid 90s into next week. Overnight lows may come down closer to 70, so it may be a slight plus as we get to late next week. Deep East Texas, the heat and humidity will continue, but a slight push of drier air coming in late Saturday and Sunday. All right, Marcus, thank you. New